Google Waymo driverless Chrysler Pacifica car revealed. Full details on Google's Waymo self-driving sub-brand, as partnership with Fiat Chrysler produces fully autonomous minivan. After Google announced a new Waymo R&D sub-brand for the development of its driverless car program, Fiat Chrysler has officially revealed a completed production vehicle ready to hit the roads. The kit-out Chrysler Pacifica hybrid minivan is the product of Google and Fiat Chrysler moving into a facility in Michigan together. After seven months' work, and countless test mules spotted, this Pacifica is one of 100 that will roll out into production in the next few years. Waymo, the new Alphabet Inc. Business will build on Google's years of development and over 2 million miles of real-world self-driving data for the Pacificas, alongside over 1 billion miles completed in simulators. Last year one of Google's cars completed its first fully self-driving journey without a Google engineer at the wheel. It's this big milestone that has prompted Google to shift its technology away from its own brand and into a new company. Regarding the shift, now Waymo CEO John Krafzik said, our next step as Waymo will be to let people use our vehicles to do everyday things like run errands, commute to work, or get safely home after a night on the town. Waymo won't focus on producing its own car. Instead, it will partner with manufacturers and sell on its technology to third parties. We already know that Fiat Chrysler is interested in using the Google Back system, given a tie-up between the two to produce a fleet of self-driving minivans was announced earlier this year, but we do not know when a fully-fledged production model with Waymo Tech on board will appear. The new Alphabet company is developing technology which it says will render steering wheels and pedals obsolete to a serious legal hurdle, but one that's becoming smaller given recent changes to the laws surrounding autonomous testing in Detroit, Michigan. The Google Car and the Law Driverless cars are always good for a headline, and not always for the right reasons. The Google self-driving car has had its share of headlines both good and bad with the more unfortunate ones including a bump with a bus, various other shunts and the refusal of one test car to move into congested traffic because the human drivers were too close together. Despite the sniping of the media and the understandable uncertainty of the public, the project rolls on and each new milestone is greeted with a frenzy of excitement by technophiles around the world. Autonomous car technology is a legislative minefield, but the US National Highway Traffic Safety Administration reportedly confirmed in a letter to Google earlier this year, that an artificial intelligence could reasonably be considered the driver of a car under federal law. This is potentially significant for Google, and other companies working on driverless cars, as it could open the door to the ultimate goal of cars that can operate without any input or monitoring from a human becoming a legal reality in the US. Testing for vehicles with no driver behind the wheel whatsoever was recently approved in Michigan. Do Google cars have a steering wheel? Currently, nearly US states only allow testing of driverless cars on public roads if they have normal controls, and a human in the driving seat ready to take over in emergencies. Those cute little electric Google car prototypes currently on test in California and a couple of other US states, are generally shown in corporate videos with no driver controls. In fact, that's a little disingenuous as when they're driven on public roads Google confirms that the cars are fitted with removable steering wheels and pedals to comply with the law. We can assume that the Chrysler Pacificas that are now in use still retain their steering wheels. Perhaps the approaching legal minefield is the reason Google recently hired a new legal chief, while pundits have also suggested it's because the Google car project is soon to become a standalone company. If that is genuinely the case, it can only be because Google thinks the technology can soon start making the firm some money. Things are clearly moving forward but what does this mean for the Google car in future? Google car, a test bed for autonomous driving tech. Something the future of the Google car appears not to hold at the moment, is Google entering the automotive industry in the manner of Tesla, and attempting to disrupt the establishment as a new car maker. Company executives have been saying as much for a couple of years. Instead, it seems Google is racing to develop an artificial intelligence that can be licensed for use in the potential billions of self-driving cars, 
or other personal transport systems, that will surely crowd onto roads around the world in future decades. To that end, Google and Fiat Chrysler Automobiles announced in May 2016 a joint venture to build 100 self-driving MPVs for test purposes, making FCA the first officially announced Google Car collaborator. In the same way that its Android Auto system is integrating Google Mapping and smartphone technology into increasing numbers of new cars, the Google Car is seen as a route to getting more Google software into the world's vehicles, rather than a way of Google competing directly with Toyota, Ford, and General Motors. The Race to Develop Autonomous Car Technology Many rivals are battling Google in the push ahead with autonomous driving tech, of course, including automotive electronics giants Bosch and Delphi, tech firms Apple and Uber, and car makers including Audi, BMW, Honda, Mercedes, Nissan, Peugeot, Toyota, and Volvo. With all those manufacturers launching autonomous features for their vehicles and probably rolling out more capable self-driving systems as public demand and the legal landscape changes there's a growing need for legislation around global standardization of systems. Unfortunately, with companies investing so heavily in their own patented technology, that standardization seems a long way off. 7 Things We Know About The Google Car Project So Far 1. It started in 2009, using Google technology installed in a first-generation Toyota Prius. Since then, the project has amassed more than 1.5 million test miles, latterly in Lexus subs and electric Google City cars. 2. Google driverless technology is based around LiDAR, a system using all-round laser beams that bounce off surrounding objects to create a digitized 3D virtual representation of the real world for the AI to navigate. 3. The system also assimilates radar, camera, and GPS feeds to build a highly complex picture of the Google Car's environment. 4. Astonishingly complex algorithms are required to predict movements of other cars, pedestrians, cyclists, and stray dogs. 5. As you'd expect, Google Maps and traffic info is used to tell the Google Car which way to go. 6. Latest Google Car prototypes unveiled for testing in 2014, are fully electric with a range of 100 miles, are speed limited to 25 miles per hour, and are designed for urban use. 7. A generally accepted date for autonomous technology to start becoming widely available is 2020. But don't expect fully self-driving cars to be legal by then, even if they appear to be viable from a technical point of view. 8. Google feels its technology is beginning to mature, as signaled by the creation of Waymo.